Local officials are calling for action after more than 100 Providence College students test positive for COVID-19. They say something needs to be done to protect the area and local businesses. 12 News reporter Courtney Carter has the details on the open letter they wrote today. Courtney. PC says all students will be in remote learning until this Saturday due to positive cases, but local officials say because of their neighbors, that's not enough. Providence College has seen a significant spike in positive coronavirus cases. Their COVID-19 data tracker last updated on Monday shows 148 positive cases. But State Representative-elect David Morales says enough is enough. Penning an open letter with two other officials, Senator Sam Bell and Representative Marcia Ranglin Vassal are asking the college to keep students remote for the rest of the school year. Here in the Elmhurst neighborhood specifically, there are a lot of students who live off campus. I think it's incredibly important that Providence College recognize the current impact in which the COVID outbreak is having on our surrounding communities. We've got a lot of communities of color, we have youth, we have elderly, all of whom are concerned about the recent outbreak and the impact it could have on their own health. The college meanwhile says stay at home orders are still in effect, even hiring more security to make sure students stay in their homes. On campus students may not leave campus and off campus students may not leave their apartments. He says he doesn't want to punish the students, but just wants the college to be aware of the ripple effect this could have. Because I would ask that Providence College refund a substantial portion of board and room fees to their students in the case where they go full remote learning. Providence College responded in a statement saying, we understand and appreciate the concerns. The college is currently holding classes remotely through Saturday, September 26. We will evaluate the need to remain in remote mode later this week and make a decision prior to week end. Now the college says they'll spend the remainder of the week testing the student body. I'm Courtney Carter, 12 News.